Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to a short news video. This time we're going to be talking about the Final Fantasy XIV developers working to remove the barriers between data centers, or at least that's the fantastic article so far written up by Giuseppe Nelva over at Twinfinite.net. A link will be in the description to this article, as usual, when we cover other people's work. But essentially, the good people at Twinfinite were invited out to Gamescom, and so far it seems that they've picked up one hell of an interview. And in particular, we got a little snippet of that today because it was obviously just too good to hold back and that is that the Final Fantasy XIV development team are working on cross data center play. Now before we get too hyped there's not a lot of information here and in fact there's quite a lot of paraphrasing there's no direct translation yet but Giuseppe writes developers are discussing internally how to make this possible from an engineering point of view unfortunately it can't just magically happen but they're working on it while it isn't guaranteed that it'll work, they have some ideas of how to make this magic happen. Apparently, according to Yoshida-san, they're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and he encourages fans to wait for further news on this. And according to Giuseppe, this here is a screenshot of a doodle that Yoshida-san sketched out, which as you can see is quite crude, but actually does the job of explaining it quite well. Giuseppe explains the three big circles marked Japan, Europe, and North America are the physical data centers for the three regions. Within each of those are the logical data centers like Crystal, Ether, and Primal in North America. The big circle on the bottom right is marked E. This represents what we have now, one enclosed logical data center in which players can freely move between servers. They continue, the first step the development team is planning to take is breaking the boundaries between logical data centers, yet those boundaries are very solid, so they'll need some magic to make it happen. The ultimate goal would be to remove the boundaries between physical data centers, for instance, between North America and Europe. But this will require, he says, something extremely powerful like a Heidlin kick to be accomplished. And obviously at the end here, Giuseppe says, stay tuned on Twinfinite for the full interview, which I will definitely be looking at in the future, and I recommend you go and look at this as well, because there's some really interesting things coming out of Gamescom that I didn't expect, and this in particular is some big news. As you can imagine, the first thing you think of when creating a character on Final Fantasy XIV is whether or not you're going to be able to play with your friends. Say, for instance, your friend creates a character accidentally on Light Data Center and you create it on Chaos, the chances of you being able to play together just plummeted drastically. You don't instantly think that this is going to be an issue, as this may have been addressed in other games you have played, especially games such as World of Warcraft, that they might be coming over from. So yeah, what does this really mean for us? This is a big sort of set of news. My dream of one day having cross data center play isn't a complete fallacy. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly excited to see what they have cooked up. There's obviously no information on how this is being done, sort of like a timeline, but it's enough to get hyped about if Yoshi says something about it, because he knows that as soon as he opens his mouth about cross data center play, then us fans are going to get incredibly hyped by it and hold on to every last word as usual. Either way, I'll share this, like I say, in the description. Go check it out. Twinfinite's going to have some very interesting stuff. They've already got some interesting uh, interviews from Gamescom 2019 so go check those out and thank you kindly for watching this video and I'll see you all next time. Oh this is going to be amazing. I cannot wait.